Hi, I'm Lisa Wisner, Business Performance Advisor with Insperity, where everything we do is aimed at helping small business succeed so communities prosper. I believe small business needs an advisor, and that's my role in this community. And the way I do this is by bringing people and technology to the market to help you run better, grow faster, and make more money. Today, we're going to be talking about how you define customer service. National Customer Service Week is coming up October 7th through the 11th. And I want to talk about how your company might be able to use customer service to help you gain that competitive advantage that you're looking for. So we're talking about things like a pleasant smile, a kind thank you. These can make all the difference when you're working with a customer. With every exchange, whether it's internal or external, you as a business owner gain an opportunity to both serve your customer, exemplify your commitment to the values that you've set forth for your employees, and then, of course, provide that quality corporate culture that you're looking for. So starting on October 7th, I'm going to be celebrating the people who provide customer service in my company. Insperity has been around for 27 years, and every one of our clients can tell you that we provide above and beyond customer service. I think um, I'm just so proud to be working for a company that literally has outstanding customer service reviews from our clients. So in honoring the people who serve our clients directly, we're going to be sharing information to them on what customer service actually means to us and thanking them and honoring them for their dedication to making sure that our company is successful. So how can your company and how can you engage your employees so that you're providing customer service to the highest level? Customer service is so important. It's really an impor important concept that, you know, a lot of companies, when you hear about their mission statement or when you hear about what, you know, what their goals are, they talk about wanting to provide the best customer service. It's in so many mission statements, and it's probably one of those that everybody just kind of puts into their statement and it's not always a lifestyle that's led in the services and, and the products that they provide. So when you talk about the, the basic problem with customer service is that sometimes customers either don't know how to offer customer service or they forget to monitor the customer service that's provided by their employees or they don't even know how to identify the different attributes that actually lead to a great customer experience. It's really complex. Sometimes it's vague. You just don't even know what's making a customer happy and what's not making them happy. So when you think about maybe um, as a personal experience, when you go to a retail store, you know, they talk about we provide the best customer service. And you might walk into an establishment where that's what they're saying, but that's not what your experience is as a, as a customer. So it's important to also know that, you know, just because you've said it, just because you have it on the wall when people walk in, it doesn't mean that it's actually happening because your employees also have to understand that the service that they're providing is a, is a reflection on part of the product that they're also selling. So excellent customer service shouldn't be difficult to define or deliver. I think if you really understand the core of why you're in business and what service you're serving your community with, you're going to understand that customer service varies. And if you can pinpoint what service you are serving your community, you're going to be able to provide that great customer service because it really is the difference between your company breaking even and being enormously successful. There's um, so much data that shows that customers actually buy because of why your, your business exists, not necessarily because of what you provide as a company or how you provide it. It's really why. So I'm going to give you three attributes, three things that you can think about that might help you actually help you and your employees provide better customer service. So the first one is trust. Customers and employees' trust of a business is critical it's in its ultimate success. If your employees don't trust the service you're providing, they're not going to be able to provide that service to the customers and the customers are going to feel, they're going to feel it if that employee doesn't feel like the service they're providing is good. So that's important. When your business builds trust, customers will literally be beating a path to your cash registers. They'll want to be in that door. And there's so many examples of great companies that, you know, they probably offer a very premium service, but, you know, they have their doors wide open because they provide such excellent customer service. The next thing is consistency. Surprises should only be for birthdays, anniversaries, or wrapped presents. A surprise shouldn't come in the form of a price change or a problem with your service or confusion with what you're offering. Consumers and your clients, they need consistency in your company's presentation, in its brand, in its pricing, everything in your image. 
they don't want any surprises. If they're happy with the way they came into your company and got the service the first time, they're expecting it again. And time and time again, I've experienced this, and I'm sure you probably have. Maybe you get service from one employee in, in a company, and then you go back thinking, wow, that was such a great experience. I'm going back, and you get service from another employee, and it's literally night and day. You're, you're left wondering, is this the same company that I walked into? And that's really what's happening in our small businesses is we have companies that are built on providing great service and the business owner understands what that service looks like, but not all the employees understand that. So the next thing to think about <clears throat> is loyalty, okay? So there's a saying, and I love the saying, when a customer purchases the first product, overhead expenses are paid for. But when a customer purchases two or more items, that's where the profit is made. It's really all about a customer for life. It's about that long-term success, and it's about relying on your customers coming back and purchasing the plus one, that behavior you want to kind of hone in where they know that you're the person to go to. And that loyal customer is the lifeblood of your business. Customers will be loyal to a company as long as the company is loyal to its customers. And that means that it's a two-way street. You have to be able to provide great service the way you said you were going to service it, so that's the consistency, and also be trustworthy, which means that you'll always be there whenever they need that service to be provided. So for, for you or your employees, if you're ever wondering about, okay, let's have a powwow meeting about our customer service and how we can provide the best service to our clients, the first thing you need to think about is, is your, custom, is your company trustworthy? The next thing you should think about is, is your company consistent? And the last thing is, is your company loyal to your customers? Answering yes or no is absolutely essential to your success. And any hesitation or if you think that there's a gray area in whether you're trustworthy is really going to result in inferior customer service. So it all results in lower profits for you if, you if you don't make sure that your customer service needs are met for your customers. So self-awareness can be you know, really good for your soul. You know, if you really understand the customer service that you're providing, that, you're, that your employees are providing, it's really going to be good for you. You're going to sleep well at night. But to be quite honest, you're going to feel it more in your bottom line. Your business will be successful. So if you have any questions or if you'd like more information about how to, how to help your employees engage more with your customers and provide that great customer service that you know your company can provide, give me a call. My name is Lisa Wisner, and you can reach me at lisa.wisner at insperity.com. You can also call me at 361-239-8760 or just Google me, Lisa Wisner, and you will find me. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.